Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 has a new interface called the Microsoft Office Fluent User Interface, which helps you to create effective presentations much more quickly. It offers new and improved effects, themes, layouts, and enhanced formatting options that you can use to create great-looking, dynamic presentations almost within no times. Getting started To open MS PowerPoint, follow these steps. Click on Start, All Apps. Choose Microsoft Office. A list of programs appear that are a part of MS Office. Click on Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2010. You can double-click MS PowerPoint icon on the desktop to open it. When you start PowerPoint, it opens in the view called Normal View, where you create and work on slides. In the Slides plane, you can work directly on individual slides. Dotted borders identify placeholders where you can type text or insert pictures, charts and other objects. The Slides tab shows a thumbnail version of each full-size slide shown in the Slides pane. After you add other slides, you can click a thumbnail on the Slides tab to make the slide appear in the Slide pane or you can drag thumbnails to rearrange the slides in your presentation. You can also add or delete slides on the Slides tab. In the Notes pane, you can type notes about the current slide. You can hand out your notes to your audience or refer to your notes in presenter view when you give your presentation. Placeholders are the boxes with dotted borders that hold contents in its place on a slide layout. You can change a placeholder by resizing it, repositioning it or changing the font size, case, color or spacing of text within it. You can also delete a placeholder. By default, PowerPoint in Office 2010 applies the Blank Presentation template. Blank Presentation is the simplest template in PowerPoint 2010. It is a good template to use when you first start working with PowerPoint because it is straightforward and can be adapted to many presentation types. Features The main parts of PowerPoint window are Title Bar Quick Access Toolbar The Ribbon Slides pane Contains Placeholders Slides tab Notes pane Status bar It saves time and creates better presentations. It has redefined animations, layout, themes, table formats, effects and many more. The Preview feature helps to review your formatting choices before you apply them. In the past, Formatting a presentation took more time because you had to choose the color and style options individually for your tables, charts and graphics and make sure that they matched one another. Creating a new presentation Click the File tab, click New, Blank Presentation, click on Create button. The single slide that is provided automatically in your presentation has two placeholders, one formatted for a title and the other formatted for a subtitle. The arrangement of placeholders on a slide is called a layout. Add text to a placeholder. Click inside the placeholder. Now type or paste the text in it. Change the appearance of text. There are many ways to change the appearance of text on a slide ranging from basic buttons on the Home tab for formatting font, style, size, color and paragraph characteristics to more advanced options such as animation or conversion to smart art graphics. Adding new slides On the Home tab, in the Slides group, click the arrow next to New Slide. A gallery appears showing thumbnails of the various available slide layouts. Click the layout that you want for your new slide. The new slide now appears both on the Slides tab and in the Slide pane. If you want your new slide to have the same layout 
as the preceding slide, you can just click New Slide instead of clicking the arrow next to it. Apply a new layout to a slide. On the Slides tab, click the slide that you want to apply a new layout to. On the Home tab, in the Slides group, click Layout and then click the new layout that you want. If required, additional placeholders are automatically created to contain that content. Copy a slide If you want to create two slides that are similar in content and layout, you can save work by creating one slide and then making a copy of that slide. On the Slides tab, right-click the slide that you want to copy and then click Copy on the shortcut menu. Still on the Slides tab, right-click where you want to add the new copy of the slide and then click Paste on the shortcut menu. You can also insert a copy of a slide from one presentation into another presentation. Rearrange the order of slides. On the Slides tab, click the slide that you want to move and then drag it to the location that you want. To select multiple slides, click a slide that you want to move and then press and hold Ctrl while you click each of the other slides that you want to move. In case the slides to be moved are in serial order, then click to select the first slide. Move up or down to the last slide. Press the Shift key and click to select the last slide. The whole set from the first to the last slide will be selected. Delete a slide. On the Slides tab, right-click the slide that you want to delete and then click Delete Slide. Save your presentation. It is a good idea to give a file name and save your presentation and then while working to keep saving the changes frequently. Click the File tab, then click on Save. The Save As dialog box appears. In the Save As list, select the folder or other location where you want to save your presentation. In the File Name box, type a name for your presentation or do nothing to accept the default file name and then click Save. From the keyboard, you can press Ctrl plus S or click Save in the Quick Access toolbar to save changes in your presentation quickly at any time.